Hey y'all, what's up? You girls back at it again. Welcome to a brand new episode of Gifted Sense 92. And I'm here to review Normani's new song featuring I'm not gonna mess up this guy's name, so out of respect, I'm gonna spell it out. It's the numerical number six L A C K. The song is called Waves. We already know what's up. She performed that song at the title Brooklyn event. And we already know what she did. She snatched our asses. She snatched my black ass. So she just released this new song earlier today. And when I heard the, the entire full version of the song, I said, yep. It reminds me of Aaliyah in some way. Because the sound that Normani is bringing to the table it's more that dark, moody, mystique, sensual R&B vibe. And see that sound, it, it's really coming back to the forefront. Because when I listened to it, and I felt like, yeah, it does give me more like Aaliyah vibes in a way. But that's a good way. But I feel like Normani, at this stage of her career as a solo artist... She's doing her thing and I feel like R&B is going to really, really, really progress with her being around. Because I feel like the thing what I really appreciate about her as an artist, and I said this before in my uh, previous videos, is that she's unique. She stands on her own two feet and she's not really like trying to be something that she's not. But I feel like even sometimes, even when I looked at how... The responses from her title performances and then um, when she did the um, what else she did those two songs with Calvin Harris uh, checklist and um, gosh slow down so she did she did those two songs and we got to see and we got to hear her go into the pop territory and then you know she's going into the R&B territory too so it's nothing new for her going to that pop territory because like I said before, her success with Fifth Harmony allowed her to really gain her audience and maintain her fan base. So I really love how this song Waves is more like that R&B, like nostalgic uh, vibe. It got more like that essence of, you know, that dark and moody. And so... I felt like listening through the entire thing, I really appreciate her too as an artist because I feel like, listen, regardless of what people say about this girl, she don't keep doing her thing. And I think for her to really work on her craft and to really push herself and not limit herself as an artist, I think that she's going to really slay. She's going to really stand out. She's going to really show that she has always been her. And which is really funny because I look at how the current state of R&B music, because it's changing, it's shifting, it happens every generation we have had and we have grew up with like the great R&B artists of previous generations. And I feel like this generation, I do see it for Normani. I really do. And I am a fan of hers. I support her. I think she's overall talented. Um, she has the, you know, appeal and she has like the... Um, you know more the aesthetic of like being a solo artist and see people do underestimate her too because of course like I said before you know she have you know have credits that you know they think that she's not going to be really like you know that standard of mainstream um, success especially as a female artist but see my thing is as a person who do loves music and R&B she's really one of like the talented black female artists emerging too so I'm like if we can't support her if we don't support her I'm just saying general I will support her but for the people that complain about not seeing more than one talented black female um, R&B artist thrive it's like well we gotta step up and do our part because there's only a handful and unfortunately some of them may not get the same opportunities as their peers and I've always have said you know, for me, supporting, you know, more than one, I never had an issue with that because I love music. So, Normani, for example, she's still, you know, getting her feet wet. I love that she's humble. And I love that she really wants to just make her music, like, stand out for its own. And she wants people to really get to know who she is as a solo artist. So, 
to be honest, I think, of course, definitely, she's on her way. Um, yeah, the song itself just gives me more like a, just that dark and just more like the production. I just love like the drum patterns and it has more of like that eerie feel. Um, so that guy that's featured on is really good. You know, the chemistry is there and this is what I love about collaborations. I love like the chemistry is there because when I was growing up, R&B, we had like successful R&B you know, collaborations and songs from like the army artists, like they did their thing and they became hits. And I feel like that's going to be back to the forefront again. And since Normani has already experienced her success with Khalid on Love Lies, and I still hear that song, I still like every time I be like in a store, when that song comes on, I'm like, yep. Yeah, they did a thing on that song. And that's why it's really cool and refreshing to hear, you know, Normani just breaking into you know just she's just really breaking out her shell and she wants to be able to like um you know just be her and see that's the only thing as a person you just gotta be yourself you gotta stick to what you know but don't be afraid to um just push the limit because i feel like some artists and especially with some of the current r&b artists especially because i noticed that they really do some of them, I feel like they can do way better with their music in terms of like production, in terms of like quality, the content and stuff. And I feel like it's so oversaturated with this rap and this trap. It's taking away the essence of R&B. And I want for even with Normani, I know she's going to tap into hip hop too, because I can feel like with her or all as a, you know, entertainer, I think because she already solidified herself from a girl group and then now she's going solo so i get to see her more her individuality her you know like lane so i'm telling and i'm gonna say this which people that do support no money we're going to support no money and we're going to do our thing and also i just throw this out there because like i said i like to talk about things and certain topics that you know, some people may be uncomfortable to talk about, but especially with the image and the music business, we all know Normani, like I said, for her being a black woman, and she's a dark-skinned, beautiful black woman, and yes, the stigma, and as I said before in my previous videos, y'all check it out. Listen, I know she's going to break the mold, but I feel like, in my perspective, this is my opinion, she shouldn't be the only one. Because some of her peers, they've been out before her, but they experience, like I said, the, you know, bias and prejudice and colorism. So I'm just here to just stay positive. I'm here to just buy the music. I'm ready. I, I really, really want to see her shine, but I feel like, you know, the fans will do their part anyway. I'm just concerned about like, you know, because I know, like I said, she experienced personal things in her life with, like, issues with people, you know, being discriminating against her and stuff like that. And she even said, like, as a black girl, as a young little girl, you know, she was instilled to, you know, be confident and feel good about herself. And see, that's why I know that she will, like I said, she will make noise. She's already making noise, but she already got some bird shirt mofos. You know, they talking out, they, you know, behinds and stuff. They talking all this ish. But no. This girl, she gonna do her thing. I think, seriously, I'm anticipating her because first of all and foremost, she makes good music, okay? And I think that by the time we get to hear this solo debut album, that's when people will recognize her overall, her talent. Like even the ones that not really caught on to her yet, because I understand. But the ones they underestimate certain artists because they feel like, well, they don't really have the it factor. But guess what? The ones that you underestimate nine times out of ten, they be that, you know. So that's all I got to say. Uh, Normani Corday, um, huge fan of hers. She's doing her thing. Love her. And yeah, I love this Waze record. It's just something for her to really utilize her um, capabilities of 
preserving R&B in its essence. So I want to hear from her debut album a variety of mixture and you know genres like even within the production because one she does have a nice voice, two she can dance, three she got stage presence. So all of these factors combined and put into her debut album which I know that in my honest opinion and I'm just going to put it out there. I'm not too worried about her debut album because I understand it's really important for an artist to put out their debut album. It has to be like really good. So I'm just having positive vibes and I'm just going to rock it out with her. So yeah. So guys, tell me what you guys think about Waves. Um, just tell me. Leave your opinions. Leave your thoughts down below. You know how we roll over here. And stay tuned on the next episode of Get The Sense 92. Dragon Ball Z narrator reference. Peace.